Yes, I did wake up on the wrong side of the bed today, even though today is still going to be a very productive today. It's going to be a very productive day today. This Monday. This rainy Monday. It's raining outside here in New York City. I got something to say to y'all freaking white beta male cuck holes on my page. Get the fuck away. Just just leave. Just buy. Just just don't come back. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But for real though, like, I don't give a fuck what size your penis is. Now I get it, right? I get it. I have said that it's okay for you guys to send me an inbox message to share your stories, your cuckold related stories. Because... I'm always up for a good story, right? So, yeah, I said you guys can email me and, you know, I can talk about your story anonymously on my page. But let's be, come on, let's have some decorum about it, okay? Let's be a little bit professional. Let's be, a, let's be classy about it. Some of y'all are starting to, like, freak me out and creep me out and... I, Yes, it's annoying, and I've blocked a lot of y'all, for real. I've blocked y'all because I don't want to sit up here and be checking my YouTube notifications and read these very explicit comments that you guys are leaving that probably ain't even true about the size of your penis, who you fucked, or who you let your wife fuck, and... I don't care about that shit. Now, I get it. My page is public. My comments are public. So, maybe you're just making a public announcement to the public. Not even to me, but it's on my page and I read my comments. And I just get annoyed. I just get annoyed. Excuse me for being annoyed, okay? But, yeah. I get annoyed and I'm just like, nah. First of all, this page is not about to turn into some porn blog where you guys can just dump all of your fucking sexual fantasies and fucking sexual fucking escapades on this freaking page. And in my comment section, that is not happening. And you guys know who I'm talking to. I'm talking to the YouTube community here. Guys, on my freaking page. That is not about to go down. Some of y'all don't even know you block. You may be coming back to my YouTube channel. Because perhaps you're still subscribed and you're still leaving comments. And you don't even know that you're blocked. You don't even know. Because I think what YouTube does, it allows you to comment even though you're blocked. But your comment will not be seen. You are hidden on my channel. No one can see you. I can't even see your comments when you've been blocked. They just automatically disappear. They just go into maybe the manosphere. I don't know. Well, I can't see them. So, if you guys would like to stay engaged, right? I don't mean to be a fucking bitch. <laughs> even though I can't easily be one. I don't mean to be a bitch. I would love to continue conversations related to cuckold alternative lifestyles and like i'm interested actually in hearing more of your stories i'm surprised that i don't think did anyone email me this past week i don't think so but this past week last week anyway it has been relatively busy for me so it was good that you guys didn't email me but listen it's okay feel free to email me i would say give you guys a hint hint a good day to email me it's Thursday or Friday because it's like the end of the week, right? If you email me like at the beginning of the week, let's say today or Tuesday, it's just like, yo, I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy seeing patients, doing evals, doing therapy. So my mind is not there. But it gets, I guess it just depends because sometimes it's a good breakaway. Sometimes it depends on your story. Like if you have a very interesting story and I check my emails regularly, like daily, throughout the day and if it's an interesting story like I'll read your I'll read your uh, email and it, it it provides a nice breakaway you know what I'm saying from 
sometimes what I'm doing in the moment. So I may entertain it during the week. But for the most part, you know, I usually hold off making videos, especially when I want to get good and deep into this the subject. I usually hold off until the weekends. I don't know if you guys noticed that. So, yes, I welcome you guys to continue to send your stories. But I have to say this. I just don't want to see. Like, when you guys start to get, like, very sexually explicit, right? And it begins to read, like porn i get annoyed and i get turned off and i just like i feel like you guys are just doing it just for attention like it's attention seeking at this point how is it benefiting my audience right how is it stimulating a conversation it doesn't stimulate a conversation you guys are just trying to get attention and go somewhere else with that there's places for that there's websites for that fet life now, I did join Fat Life, and I told you guys that my opposition to Fat Life. Like, I don't like Fat Life because of that very reason. People just, it's like I want to get to have, I want to build friendships, right? Relationships, networks with people, obviously, who share that, my same interests, right? And lifestyle. But at the same time, if you're coming at my inbox sending me dick pics, no, man. That's not how you do it. I'm not, I don't want to see your fucking dick. Likewise, I don't want to hear about your fucking dick. You get what I'm saying? It's just, it's actually, it can be considered sexual assault. In some states, it's like illegal to send dick pics. And it's like in the same vein. It's like illegal. Nobody want to hear about your fucking penis size. I don't, I don't care. But if I, I have to say this, because there's a caveat. So yes, I did make a video on penis size. So you're commenting on a topic thinking that your comment is related. Which it is, right? But be like be be strategic about how you how you express yourself, you know, on videos like that discuss penis size. You don't have to really disclose your penis size though. I mean, you can still leave like your perspective on it. Nobody will, who gives a fuck. Somebody comments on my oh, I have a four inch penis. Why? Who gives a fuck? Just say you're not. It's ways that you can say it. For example, I'm less in doubt, right? I'm less to just say I'm less in doubt down there. I have a smaller package. There's more sophisticated. Just be sophisticated with it. That's all I'm saying, okay? I do have to go. I do have to go. But on that note, take heed to what I said. It's not really just for this channel, right? It's just for your own benefit. Carry yourself with dignity, right? Don't carry yourself slutty. That's not attractive. Just like you're a $2 hoe. Come on. Have some respect for yourself. My guys. I'll catch you guys later. Love you guys. Have a beautiful day.